Hey everybody, welcome in. Prophetess Nikki here. Come on in, family. Come on in. Listen, I got a powerful word of encouragement for you. Are you ready for it? Are you excited for it? You need to get ready for this. You need to get excited for this. I pray that God's face will shine upon you. I pray that God's face will shine upon all of you. May he keep you and may God continue to prosper you in every single area of your life because God is going to do it. He's going to do it quickly. God is going to empower you to prosper, family. God has something amazing for you, family. Did you hear me? God has something amazing for you. God has something absolutely better for you than what you left behind. God has something better for each and every one of you than what you left behind. You think about what you had to leave behind. God said, I have something better for you than that. God said, whatever you allowed to let go of, God said, I have something absolutely better for you than that. God has something better. Did you hear me, family? God said, I have something better for you. Are you ready for something better? God said, I have something better for you. You're going to have to let go. You're going to have to let go if you want that better to come into your life. What is it that you're still holding on to that you are a little bit uncomfortable of releasing? God said, I have better for you. So let it go. Whatever you had to leave behind, whatever family you had to let go of, whatever left you behind, God said, I have so much better for you. And in order for you to get it, what's in your hand? God said, whatever's in your hand, let's do an exchange. God is asking you to do an exchange that is going to consider trust. It's going to take your trust. So you're going to have to release what you have in your hand. And you're going to have to trust God that he knows better than you and I to give him. Why don't you exchange with God? God has something powerful for you. God said, I want what's in your hand first so that I can do an exchange and give you something greater than what you have. Whatever you left behind, God said, I have something better for you. God has something better for you, but you're going to have to let go of whatever that is. Anytime God, listen, family. Anytime you have to let go of something or anytime God would ask you to let go of something, to release something, anytime God would ask you to let go of something, to let go of someone, anytime God would move you out of one place and into another place, it doesn't matter the geographical location, it doesn't matter the community, it doesn't matter the corporation, anytime God has asked you to leave a place, anytime God has led you, to leave something behind. God said, I have something better for you. God has something better for you, family. He does. And you're going to have to trust him enough to give him whatever's in your hand. You're going to have to trust God to let go of whatever it is that you've been trying so diligently and so hard to hold on to. You got to trust him because you can. You can. You trust God to release whatever that is. Did you know whenever you release this, God is going to give you better. God is going to give you greater. God said, I got something better for you. God has something better for you, family. That is your word of encouragement. God said, I have something way better for you, family. So let go of whatever you're trying to hold on. If you're trying to hold on to something, let it go, God said. So he can give you better. Let it go so God can give you greater. Let it go so God can give you a better opportunity. Let it go so God can give you a greater experience. Let it go. God is going to do something greater for you, but let it go. Let it go, family. Sometimes, too, whenever you go through pain in life, when you go through setbacks, when you go through delays, when you go through disappointments, you know what God does with these things? God is doing this to push you forward. These things are pushing you forward. The disappointments that you're having or you have had, it is pushing you forward. Every last disappointment that you have, all of your pain, family, all of your sorrow, all of your trauma, everything that you have gone through with, it is propelling you. It is pushing you where? It is pushing you forward. And don't look behind you. Don't look behind you because there is nothing beneficial behind you. Everything beneficial for you is right 
before you. It's ahead of your family of God. God said, let go and let me. Let go and let God. God said, I have something better for you. Something better for you. Whatever it is that you have right now, God said, I have something better for you. God has something absolutely better for each and every one of you. So let it go, whatever it is. Don't cry over the things of the past. That's what it is. It is the past. This is a learning curve for you. You have to learn some valuable lessons. So when you possess the land, when you possess the promise, you will not miss. Listen, family, whenever you possess the land and whenever you possess that promise that God is going to give you, you are not going to mishandle the blessing. You're not going to lose it. God had to mature you. All these things that you've gone through with, they are learning curves so that when you get there, you're going to stay there. It's not just getting the blessing. It's not, a, it's not just walking into the place of blessing, of prosperity, of opportunities, of expectation. Will you be able to keep what God is getting ready to give you? So God is training you. You in spiritual boot camp, each and every one of you. You are in spiritual boot camp right now. Every arrow that people threw at you, it didn't hit you, did it? It came by your dwelling place, but it did not hit you. It will never hit you, family. Never. God say, I have something absolutely better for you. God has better people for you. God has a better home for you. God has a better opportunity for you. God has a better place of employment for you. He has better friends for you. God has better money for you. God has better anointing for you, family. God has better. So he had to allow things to leave so better can come. Anything that you left behind. Anything, I don't care what it is, anything that you have left behind, God say, I'm going to give you better than that. Whatever you had to walk away from, God say, I'm going to give you better than that. Whoever you had to walk away from, God say, I'm going to give you better than that. Do you trust God? Do you trust God? Do you believe that? You got to believe this. You have to believe. It is your faith. It is your faith that is going to cause you to possess the promise. It is your faith. That is going to allow you to walk into this next level of blessing in your life, family. Nothing will befall your dwelling place. Nothing. And nothing that you have ever gone through with in your life was for nothing. Everything that you have gone through with, it was for something. It was for a purpose. God said, give that to me. Whatever is in your hand, God said, I want to make an exchange with you. Because I want to show you that I can give you better. God knows better than you. God knows what you like. Family, he created you. Every desire you have, God gave you those good desires that you have. So allow him to help you to fulfill this. God got better for you. I'm so excited for you, family. God has better for you. That is your word of encouragement. God has better for you. Why don't you say that to yourself? Why don't you speak that to yourself? Because everybody, the whole community is going to see that God has better for you. And they're going to see that God is going to do better for you and greater through you, family. God is going to make your name great. God is going to make your name great, family of God. Because you humbled yourself, you submitted yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due season, this is your due season. God is getting ready to exalt you. This is your due season. Because you have walked in ways that please God. You have walked in ways that please God. You are in your due season. Did you know that? Your due season is now. There's a time and a place for all things. And now is the time for God to give you better. Now is the time for God to give you greater Family of God, God is going to cause people, family, to bless you. God is going to cause an outpouring of his spirit to be upon you so that you can know how to discern, so that you can know how to lead his people, so that you can know how to discern between good and evil. What good is it for you to have the blessing, don't have the wisdom? You have the wisdom now. You didn't have all of it then, but you have it now. All of your disappointments, family has pushed you. You think about that. You think about the situations where you were in before. Maybe you were not so much trying to do what God called you to do. 
Maybe you weren't working too much in your purpose, but the moment disappointment hit, oh, it was a different ball game, right? So God said, I had to allow these things to come hit your way. God said, I had to allow all the situations to hit you, the circumstances, the trauma, all of the disappointments and the betrayal, the pain. God allowed every bit of that so that it could push you forward, family of God. When you stay in a place too long that God been trying to get you out of, oh my goodness, this is when the winds begin to blow. This is when storms become to rage in your life. But God called these storms. He calls these disappointments. He called them to you. He assigned them to you. Why did he do it? And why does he do it? He does it to push you forward, family of God. We got to move when God tells us to move. We got to move when God tells us to move. And we got to run when he tells us to run. And we got to stay put when God tells us to stay put. God said, I have something so much better for you. God has better for you. Whatever you had to leave behind, God said, I have so much better for you. Whatever you had to walk away from, God said, I have so much better for you. Whoever you had to walk away from, whatever it is that you had to walk away from, God said, I have better. Don't get used to what you've had thinking you can't get any better. The devil is a liar and the truth is not in him. God is getting ready to show you you had nothing. You're getting ready to get the best. You're getting ready to get the better. You thought you had something. Oh, no, you didn't have anything because if it was worth anything, God would have allowed you to keep it. Thank God for the opportunities that he gave you. Thank God for the enjoyment and the fulfillment in certain things, in certain people, in certain seasons of your life that God allowed you to experience. But God said, now, glory to God, I'm propelling you to go forward because I have something better for you. Are you excited about the better that's getting ready to hit your house greater is getting ready to hit your house and every altar of the adversary. Oh, glory to God with your name on it. I thank God that the fire of the Holy Spirit will burn it to pieces, family of God. You are blessed, people. You are highly favored of the Lord. And no weapon, not one single weapon will form that will prosper. It may form, but it will never prosper. It will not take root. It will never bear fruit in the life of a believer. Don't worry about what people do. Don't worry about what they say. God is going to shut the mouths of family of God. Some of them, oh, oh, glory to God. Some of their tongues will cleave to the roof of their mouth. The minute that they think evil towards you, family of God, God going to put a stop to that. Nothing can stop your blessing. Nothing can hinder the plan of God for your life except for our disobedience and our willfully sin. We cannot willfully sin against God. I'm excited for what God is getting ready to do in your life, family of God. I love you so much. I'm praying for you. The best is truly yet to come for all of you. Thank you for what you do, family, on a daily basis to help bring glory to God's channel. Don't get scammed. Don't you dare get scammed. Don't follow my picture icon anywhere else except for right here on this YouTube platform. Greater is coming. Are you ready? Are you ready for greater? Are you ready for better? I'm ready for you. I'm ready for your testimonies. Glory be to God. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos. If you're new, welcome to our channel here. We're going to encourage you, motivate you. We're going to inspire you. We're going to share kingdom principles. Glory to God so that you can have the wisdom to do what you need to do because it's not enough for us to have the knowledge. We need the wisdom. We got the tools. Now God is going to teach us wisdom. How to work it. Work it, family. Work your faith. Expect greater. Expect better. Anything that you left behind, whatever you had to leave behind, God said, better is coming. He said, I use those disappointments to push you into your purpose. I use all of those disappointments, all of those pain and traumas that you went through with. God said, I used it to prepare you, to push you forward. Sometimes we move too slow. So God has to call a storm to get us out of a place. Glory to God of stagnation. No more stagnation for your family of God. We love you here. Thank you for what you do on a daily basis. We're going to talk later. If it be the will of the Lord. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.